was really interesting. I was expecting more of a lecture, more somebody telling me what he was looking for. So the fact that it was all just playing the music and just sort of assuming we would know what he was looking for was interesting for me. Um, and the fact that it was so international, of course, I expected, but I really appreciated that. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed hearing the backstory to the creative process and how these different fragments of things from all over the world get incorporated into the next big idea. And I've been a fan of the Kronos Quartet for many years. It's been interesting to see the process at work. I was impressed with the breadth of what he listens to. Um, I thought it was almost too much being presented because I had a lot of questions about um, contextualizing that work in the history of music. And I also uh, think that he went into some territory that's so much musicology, and I would have loved to just gone that direction also. So it was almost too rich. I was not surprised, but I was pleased, and it was fun. I thought tonight was great. It was really uh, fantastic to hear different kinds of music from all over the world, and especially how that would relate to Kronos Quartet's music. Uh, that was fantastic. I'm Amy, and I worked with Chad uh, from Juniata to bring this um, talk here to the McCann School of the Art. Um, first of all, it's a perfect setting, uh, being among the art, talking about a different kind of art, music in this case. Um, and I just think David, well, first of all, he um, turned us on to so many cool um, countries and um, forms of music that uh, I, for one, hadn't been familiar with, so I don't think anyone else in the audience was either. And it was uh, cool the way he talked about um, the process of making a quartet, so being inspired by uh, this music from all over the world and then synthesizing that into a piece for his own quartet. So that's what I got out of this evening's listening party.